I'm Jane Lunnan with the Ashe County Arts Council. I've got another update on the arts in Ashe. With me today, I've got a special guest, Lynn Reese Jones. Lynn, welcome to the show. Thank you. Lynn is the coordinator for the Town of West Jefferson's Centennial Celebration, right? I am. 2015 is a big year for West Jefferson. It certainly is. Celebrating 100 years, right? That is correct. And the Centennial Commission has been formed to oversee uh, a whole year's worth of activities. And as we were chatting earlier, well, we could fill multiple shows with all of the, <laughs> all of the special could. events that are planned. I'm so excited about some of them. Of course, we we're, we're kicking things off uh, uh, in January with an exhibit at the Ash Art Center called Centennial Celebration with paintings and photography uh, that reflects West Jefferson's past, present, and, and future. But what I want you to do is to share with the, with the viewers a little bit about some of the other special events that are planned for West Jefferson Centennial. Certainly. Uh, well, we're really excited about everything that we have planned and um, are pleased to, to say that there are going to be things going throughout the year. We've got a lot of groups and organizations that are going to be sponsoring events. And we also have an event in each of the seasons. So we have our winter event, which is going to be held at the Arts Council. And we're pleased that it's going to be in conjunction with your exhibit. And another exciting part of that is that we are launching a video. It's the West Jefferson Centennial, a history of our town. And it's going to be a 30 minute video that really is going to tell the story of West Jefferson through the eyes of a lot of our current residents who will be speaking on the video. We'll have lots of images and we're really excited to be able to share that with the community. Oh, that's exciting. And, and the date for that is? That's February 9th, which is the actual birthday of the town. We were incorporated as a town February 9th, 1915. How perfect. And this um, video will begin at 630. That's correct. And I think you've got refreshments planned and just a great chance to to visit with West Jefferson residents and, and folks that are interested in the whole Centennial Project and to see the premiere, the world premiere of the West Jefferson video. Absolutely. That's, that's great. Absolutely. We're excited also during that event we have a publication that we have been putting together that is also going to tell the story of West Jefferson in a magazine format and it will be a publication that's available with stories from residents and we'll have a lot of great information about the history of the town. Oh, that's great. Gosh, so we've got, we've got the visual arts, we've got a gallery, we've got the video piece, and now we've got the printed piece. Absolutely. What a great way to kick, kick off the centennial. Right. And you've got events planned throughout the rest of the year. Correct. We'll have something in the spring. We're going to have some uh, musical performances at the Backstreet Concert. We will have uh, an antique car show. We're going to have a lot of events at the library. What we're really trying to do is to have events that are going to appeal to all ages, to people that have lived in Ashe County all their lives, people that maybe have recently moved, people that are just coming to visit and want to learn more about our town. So we'll have uh, things like that going on um, that will appeal to everybody. In the summer, we're going to have a homecoming event where we really do hope that a lot of people that maybe haven't been back to Ashe County in a long time can come and really see how the community has changed through the years because there is just so much that's happening now in the town that really makes it a special place to visit and to live. In, indeed. You know, many folks may not know the history of, of West Jefferson and, and the fact that it began 100 years ago or, or earlier uh, it really as a railroad town. I it mean, that, did. that was the impetus for, uh, for the, the town coming to be as the, the Virginia Creeper, uh, the Carolina Virginia train came into Ashe County for lumber, timber, right. industry, right. Um, it was huge. And obviously all of the infrastructure needed to support that train and that industry was springing up with hotels and, and doctor's offices and physicians mm -hmm. and restaurants and, and everything. And, and the Virginia Creeper even continuing on to Todd, which, right. was, which was a bigger boom town in Absolutely. those days. You know, and and to, to be able to reflect back and honor that history 
is is so important for all of us to, to know where we've been and and how it came to be and to be able to still appreciate it today and hats off to the town of West Jefferson for what it is today and for the whole uh, centennial celebration plans. Um, Lynn, I'm looking here at the, the table uh, and the brick. Now this brick is from the old, what we call the old hotel. Absolutely. The, one of the original hotels in West Jefferson during that train boom era. And these are some bricks that have been reclaimed from part of that hotel. And you've turned this into a special fundraiser uh, with makes it available for folks to take home a piece of that history. Absolutely. And one of the things I love about these bricks is they were actually handmade on the hill just up from where the hotel stands today. So it, it truly is a piece of West Jefferson. What a, what a neat way to remember. Well, West Jefferson has got lots and lots of great events planned. Um, you've got a website? We do. It's West Jefferson 100. Dot com, and we have a lot of information posted there about not only events, but merchandise, some history. So that's really a great go-to place to find information about the Centennial. That's great. You know, West Jefferson is always a great place to visit, whether you're looking for arts in, in terms of public art or the galleries or just friendly people and a great little town. It's reflective of everything you'll find in Ashe County. And we do hope that you'll come visit West Jefferson anytime, but especially to take advantage of some of our centennial events. Lynn, it's been great having you on this show. Thank you Just very to, much. to give people a little teaser about some of the events, I do hope you'll come back as we get closer to some of the I other events. I would love to. Share more information. The website was westjefferson100.com for more information about that. You can give us a call at the Ashe County Arts Council, 336-846- 2787 or check out our website ashcountyarts.org for lots of information about these events and more all taking place in Ash County.